we're finally on our way to pick up our new home. So we're making the trip. It's a huge trip today. It's from Wollongong to Nara, about 40 minutes. So 40 minutes, not really that huge. We're going to see our home actually start up for the first time. We have gave him the go ahead and said, yes, we're taking it, mm -hmm. but we just need to go <laughs> see if the bus actually runs. Yes. That's a big one. Um, take it for a drive. I still have not got my license. I'm eight days out of getting my heavy vehicle license. The lovely bloke down here that owns the coach company, he is going to drive it back to the block and reverse it straight in for us. Yeah. So then this bus build can begin. Ah oh, man, this is gonna be absolutely hectic. I can't wait to show you everything we've got planned for this bus. Right now, we're just like, you guys, we have a dream of building a bus, but don't have the idea all the skills how to execute it so it's going to be a fun journey and we're going to take his along there's going to be a lots of ups and downs and rounds and probably a few f-bombs so yes yeah, stay, stay tuned, tuned for all of that guys <laughs> next bit let's see the bus 30 seconds right that was a quick drive we have made it and there is the beast the beast is actually out man swing that camera out Show them the beast. Now, let's go. Have a chat with that old mate. Take this bad boy for a drive and clean this camera because it looks filthy. <laughs> Officially have bought a bus. Now for the fun part. We need to convert this bus to our very own home. And man, it's gonna be a hard yards. A lot of blood, a lot of sweat. And I definitely say there's gonna be some tears. Welcome to another episode. This one is a little bit different. As you all know, we've been traveling for the last two and a half years. We decided to embark on a pretty epic journey. As you can see, we bought a bus. We bought a bus. Okay, there was going to be quite a few legalities that we needed to sort out of this. I don't know if there's anyone else out here on the YouTube world or out there that has ever decided to do a bus build why living off grid why not having a property so still living in our caravan just purchased our bus 
And now for the fun bit, we're gonna to to do this bus build. So, some of the few key ingredients we looked at in a bus were, we wanted a flat floor, rear mount motor, hopper windows for all you out there that don't know what hopper windows are, they're just top windows on the bus. And we wanted, did I say big bins? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe not. I wanted big under storage. There's one drama with this bus. Has a very high chassis. Yes, the bins go all the way through, but the chassis is high, so there is a chassis rail in between. So, key ones I would say to you guys when looking for a bus, my biggest one is a rear mount motor. 100%. We don't want to be having to pull up, pull out the whole kitchen because the motor's in the middle. So, very lucky we found a rear mount. And then the next one is you also got to take into consideration where you want your water tanks, how you want to plumb your toilet or your electrical. So for us, it just made more sense to have that big under storage. We're going to leave it there, guys. We're going to give you a look around our bus. Right, for the rundown on the bus, we are currently sitting in a 40 foot bus. We ended up buying an Iveco. So it's an Iveco Metro Tech, very clean bus, should have enough room for all of us. One thing we were looking at, we wanted the door to be able to swing outwards because in Australia, we need the bus door to be turned into a motorhome that it actually needs to swing out. So Metro Tech, Really nice bus. We ended up getting it from Stewart's Coaches just down at Nara. We'll do this little walkthrough really quick because the wind's about to kick up and I don't know what the sound quality is going to be. So I'm going to give you a quick look in the bins. Heaps and heaps of room. As you can see, this was that high chassis that I was talking about. So either way, I'm still going to be able to put my water tanks up into this area. I have another boot down on this side and as you can see it rolls all the way down so it is in total three bins as you can see one two three and mr bus as it's only got single axles we are running a caterpillar v8 motor in it so it is a very small motor uh 280 horsepower but Man, I think it'll be fine. I, I'm not out there for a race. Um, you know, it's going to go a little bit faster than what I usually go with my caravan on. So that is always a bonus. Right. We'll shut this side up. Give you a quick look down the side of the bus. Absolutely mint bus. I am thinking at that top bit to put a caravan window in it and all the way up as you can see now for the fun bit i'll be back rightio i should be sitting there and actually starting to strip apart this bus today but i just came across a post on facebook there's a house being demoed and they have some pvc clatting on the actual side of the house so i'm a little bit puffed from running up to grab the GoPro, so sorry about that guys. Um, yeah, I want to duck down. I'm going to start stripping off some of that cladding off that house. So I've made, got all my measurements on the bus. I'm just going to go down and rip all the cladding off what I need. So that way I can do PVC cladding of the whole ceiling. So let's go. For the ones that have only just started following us, I'm Jason. I'm Chantel. And we have two beautiful children with us full time. Jasper, Layla. Another three to a previous relationship. And this is why we've gone to a bus. Because it's just, we're outgrowing the caravan. So yes. we, for the ones that haven't seen us already, we currently live in a region discovery family, um, which is a 22 foot caravan. And yeah, it's just slightly getting a little bit too small. So. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, because we're gonna show you how an average family can build a bus on a budget, off-grid, and 
And what? have fun and not kill each other doing it. <laughs> yeah, that would help. <laughs> and why? Why living in a caravan? Now, I have sat there yesterday, guys, and I actually came across some PVC um, wall cladding off a house, which is sitting just outside there. Um, so we actually have secured enough for our whole ceiling of the of the bus. Which this is one thing. If you guys want to be able to build a bus on a budget, our budget for this bus build, ching ching, down here, is going to be thirty two thousand dollars. Yes. So that's not including the bus. Um, that's with the bus already purchased. Mm -hmm. Right, guys. So thirty two thousand. We are not going to sheet any of the windows. No. We're going to keep the windows as they are. We're going to frame them all up. Some we will black out and then we'll put insulation behind them and then build a wall in front of them. Um, we are still unsure of the electrical system we're going to be running. This all depends. This is depending on how much stuff we can source for free or low cost. Yeah. Because the electrical system Jason wants is a pretty pretty pricey slash really good system so we'll see how we go and um hopefully he can get the one we want i think we'll be able to source enough for free we've already got a few things happening so this one one thing for anyone out there that wants to do a budget build mm. um i would highly recommend marketplace yes. on facebook mm -hmm. uh, there's so much in there if you just type in um demolition mm -hmm. There's so many people getting rid of kitchens, they're getting rid of all the cladding, timbers, yeah. all of that, all of that good stuff. Like, yes, it's still expensive to buy the ply, but if you can source someone that can, you can get some budget ply, well, happy days. That's what it's all about. Doing this build at as low as cost as we can, so I can buy a $15,000 electrical <laughs> system. But Victron, in my heart is where this bus needs to be. Um, Victron unit, everything that I've um, done research on, I believe Victron is definitely the way I want to go. But if the budget doesn't allow me, what we are going to do is we're going to install a cheaper unit in there. I'm going to run spares and a few more six, six more cables down to the under storage. And then later on, when we get a bit more finances up to lift that budget up, well then I'll be stepping into the Victron gear, but I'm going to run everything out through this bus exactly to the T of what I need. Yes. Rightio, now, time for the good one. We're going to start ripping out these seats right now with these feral kids. This is going oh, to be- Oh no. This is going you to be- just dropped the internet down the back of that. Good thing we've got to rip all the seats <laughs> Lucky we're ripping the seats out today, so. I best get this oh, internet dear. then. <laughs> Radio, we'll get a time lapse on and see how quick we can get these seats out. Talk to you.
That is the bloody seats done. Okay, right, let's get this last little bit out. That's all the seats stripped out. Yep, all done. Now, I've got to say, I would love to take these out right about now. Just the storage side of things. I keep smashing my head, yeah. hitting my shoulders. Yeah. It actually does hurt. But while we've got the little ones in here, I don't think that's very safe. So no. that will be another day. But I am going to go now right round and start taking out the rest of the brackets on these sides over here so these are what the seats actually went to my plans there is a bit of uni strut that runs the whole length of this bus for them seats my plan is that i've kept the bolts and i want to sit there so the kitchen and anything that i can fix to the bottom without using fixings that i can use this channel I am fingers crossed hoping that I can um, utilize it but I'm not going to know until I pull this panel off here and start stripping down the bus um, and seeing if I can actually leave that here it just it would make so much more sense to leave it here where I could fix the bunks to it and yeah all of that jazz as there's not much fixings on the bus itself um, but time will tell Let's get into it. I'm going to start ripping up some of this line out at the back end of the bus. I'm almost about to pull out a caravan. That's how long it has been of me living in a bloody caravan there. Thinking caravan. But let's do it. Let's start at that piece of line out. So, pretty self explanatory. The strip needs to come off and then we're going to see how hard it is to get the lino up and see how good this floor is if you take a look over that side of the lino um if you take a look over here it's not looking very crash hot so i am honestly hoping that the floor's going to be pretty good but if it's not obviously just rip it out and start all over again so Let's do it. Let's do it.